let me ask you this. Okay. What are some of those undergirding narratives within late modernism today that okay. we say you don't actually need to watch TV to understand these or consume all of these things, but you can understand them through, through reading, through relationships with people, through, through various other ways. But what are some of those? Okay, yeah, that, that's a great question. Um, I think that when we talk about some of the, the big aspects of culture, um, especially in this time, I think, you know, understanding um, uh, our place in society, you know, the desire of a person to be situated in a time and a place in a community and what that looks like. Um, the desire to have significance, um, whether that be significance through, you know, finances or name recognition or any of those kind of things. Um, I think there's also um, the the issue of, of contextualization, which is really big. And let me break that word down because we, we use it in different ways. But in, in other words, that uh, increasingly I see the desire of people to find a context which they can work in, an identity that they define for themselves. I'm part of this group or that group. Mm -hmm. um, and, and oftentimes their identity is through that group or that context, that contextualization that they have for themselves. Um, you know, I, I think of in my years as a pastor, especially in California, you know, people would surprisingly sometimes very quickly introduce themselves or let me know that they're part of this group, that they're this aspect um, or, or this community. And, you know, I always found that surprising because myself, I didn't, growing up maybe a slightly different uh, place and time, um, I didn't think of myself contextually that way. So I would say that would be a couple of the things. Yeah. Name a couple you well, were thinking of. Well, one interesting thing about some of the things you said was, was that they actually, tr I think that they transcend. I mean, you mentioned identity, a search for identity. Right. I would, I would make the case that that transcends uh, context or transcends just simply a time period, and that's something about humans through the history of the world. That, sure. that there's this identity that we we see things and we put our identity and they they form who we are, they shape who we are. We look to cer certain things for meaning in life. Right, right. Um, and but then you kind of came in from that and named a few particular ones in our culture, right? Like money, and so I see. Right. I see just a, a, a narcissism. Right. I see a, a, what what David Brooks, in his new book *Road to Character*, says is the big me mm -hmm. mentality, right. Right. and so it's a big me versus uh, the big community, which is right. in some cultures. So in the West, we have a very big me, a big entertainment right. culture, and that certainly um, shapes the way people look at issues, shapes mm -hmm. the way they look at religion. Right. Maybe why, oftentimes, why they reject religion. Right. And if we, we can, we could work this through, like the sexual, you know, revolution, so to speak, of that's happening in the West right now. And that's, I think, once you say the meaning of life is to find personal fulfillment. Right. I mean, and that's the narrative: personal right. fulfillment, and it's the big me. And once you, um, once you adopt that, then which I think we did a long time ago, it's no surprise that we've ended right. up where we are today in 2015 right. on that issue. Right.